Hi, how are you today? So in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at a very interesting little tape deck that was manufactured and sold by Radio Shack back in the day. Uh, this is the SCP-32 stereo cassette tape player. Now, a long time ago on this channel, actually almost three years ago when I first started this channel, I reviewed a very similar tape deck and it was the SCP-31. So this is the next in that line of compact cassette players. And the difference between that previous tape player and this one is that this one has auto reverse. Now, believe it or not, I found this tape player at my local Salvation Army and I paid a grand total of $2.99 for this one. So uh, basically in this video, I'm just going to do a quick overview of this very interesting little tape deck. Now, what's interesting about this, it's so compact, as you can see, and I mentioned this about the SCP-31. Uh, I think this tape deck was intended for people who really didn't have a lot of space. Maybe someone who was living in very tiny quarters. Uh, the best example I can give would be, for example, a college student living in a dorm room who wouldn't have a lot of room. Maybe they only had very limited shelf space. And this would have been the perfect uh, answer to that. Basically, you could play your tapes and uh, you wouldn't need a lot of space. Uh, it was It's very compact. And I will mention too that my SCP-31, as I believe I mentioned in the other video, uh, that thing is so rugged. And I actually bought it brand new way back in, I think, I don't know, 1990 or 1991. And the thing still works like a top. It's, it's a tank uh, and it still plays great. It still sounds great. A lot of people put down realistic. A lot of uh, people think that realistic products were just not that good. I would very strongly disagree. Pretty much every realistic product I own, and I have many realistic products that are, you know, 30, 40 years old, and they still work fantastic. And uh, really, I think a lot of people put down realistic very unfairly because the, I find a lot of their products were very well made and still run well to this day. Okay, so looking at this SCP-32, uh, we have our standard buttons in the front here, but we also have a couple of different ones because this is an auto reverse tape player. So over here on the far left, we have a button that when this button is up, basically the tape will keep playing and playing in a continuous loop. But when that button is pushed down like so, uh, it will only play, it will only flip over once, okay? And we're going to uh, basically put this to the test. And here we have our play button, our rewind, our fast forward, stop eject. We have a direction button so we can change the direction of the tape while it's playing. And over here on the far right, we have a pause button. Now up here, we have a, a tape direction lights and I'm going to show you that uh, in a moment. I'll demonstrate that for you. And by the way, before I forget, the actual cassette that I'm, I have in this uh, tape player is the soundtrack to Back to the Future, a very cherished and very loved classic film. Okay, so right now the tape is uh, at the end of side two, and uh, I'm going to hit play and uh, we'll see it in action. And also just to continue, uh, I forgot to mention here we have a Dolby noise reduction button uh, so we can have Dolby noise reduction as the tape is playing. And also we have a tape select button. We have normal bias and if you push it in, it's for chrome or metal tapes. And the SCP-31 also had this button, although it did not offer Dolby noise reduction. So again, uh, I'll hit play on this tape and uh, we'll basically see the auto reverse in action. So here we go. Okay, and you can see the direction light is going in the regular playing direction. And it should be coming to the end very, very shortly here. And there we go. So now, it's flipped over from side two, and it's now going to play side one. And as we can see, the side, the face of the tape that's facing us is side two, but it's flipped over, over. It's playing in the opposite direction, and it's now playing side one. And yeah, that's basically the beauty of auto reverse. And back in the day, 
a lot of businesses, a lot of stores would have used such a deck. Again, this was long before streaming. Um, and so back in the day, if a business was playing music on their store PA system, they would basically have something like this with auto reverse. So in the morning, they could pop in a tape, maybe let's say they had a uh, 120 minute tape and basically that tape could keep playing over and over again non-stop if you had it in this continuous loop mode it would just keep playing and playing and uh yeah that would be how they played music back in the day uh, so you basically just pop the tape in hit play and you wouldn't have to worry about it for the rest of the day it would just keep looping and looping um yeah so i'll also show you uh, what happens when I hit the direction button? So again, it basically it came to the end of side one. It flipped and it played in the opposite direction to play the other side of the tape. Now, what happens when I hit the direction button? It changes direction again. So now it's back to playing side two, the side that's facing us. And if I want to go back again to side one, I hit the direction button again. And now we're back to side one. It just changed directions, basically. And uh, that's the beauty of these machines. So I'm just going to stop the tape and uh, I'll show you very quickly. You can see on the top there, uh, the price tag, as it says, $2.99. I definitely got a deal. And I'll show you basically what it looks like on the back. Yeah, so basically, um, pretty straightforward. We have the technical data on the back here, and we have our outputs, RCA left, RCA right, and our power cord, and that's basically it. Pretty straightforward, not much to it, but I find there's real beauty in the simplicity of this tape deck. I really, really like it. So that's my look at the SCP-32 stereo cassette tape player. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, and please let me know, have you ever used one of these compact realistic tape decks? Uh, do you still use one? Have you ever found one in a secondhand shop? Um, are you still a big cassette enthusiast? Do you still play a lot of music on cassette? Let me know, feel free to leave a comment, give us a thumbs up, and as always, please subscribe to the channel. It's always greatly appreciated. It always helps my channel grow. Thank you so much. We'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye.